Welcome back to We Are Reading Virtual Storytime. Monday, February 15th is President's Day. We will be reading I Am Abraham Lincoln and Making a Lincoln Log Cabin. Enjoy the story! I Am Abraham Lincoln by Brad Meltzer Illustrated by Christopher Eliopoulos I Am Abraham Lincoln When I was little, even young boys were expected to work on the farm and hunt animals for food. Abe, you coming? I'll catch up with you later. I preferred to read. I also loved animals. When I was 10 years old, I saw a group of boys playing with some turtles. They found turtles? I love turtles! But as I got closer, I realized they weren't playing. They were taking hot coals and putting them on top of the turtles to see what would happen. To them, it was harmless fun. Look, it's making the turtle run faster. It's the fastest turtle ever. In that moment, I could have just walked away. When you're 10 years old, it's hard to do the right thing, but someone has to. Let this turtle go. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go. Those boys let the turtle go. Soon after, I wrote one of my first essays about how hurting animals is wrong. That may not seem like a big deal, but back then most kids, and even adults, didn't know how to write. In fact, the state of Indiana was so new, schools weren't even built yet. I went to school for barely a year total, but that didn't stop me. Using chalk, I practiced writing the alphabet on trees. I even wrote in the dirt of the cornfield. Abe, how's that corn coming? Great, Dad! When it came to learning, my best teachers were simply books. I love books so much, I once walked six miles, I'm serious, six miles, to get one. Six miles? That's too far for a book. Not for this one. I'd read while my horse was resting. And while waiting in line at the local store, and in one of my favorite positions with my feet up on a tree. Before long, I had read every book in the neighborhood, from the Bible to Aesop's Fables to Robinson Crusoe, but one of my favorites, a book about George Washington. I'd even copied my favorite parts on pieces of wood. Did you know that George Washington was a friend of men? You're a strange bully, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, but I'm going to be on the penny someday. What's a penny? When I was 22 years old, we moved to Illinois, where I met a group known as the Clary's Grove Boys. You think you're better than us? I never said that. Don't be chicken. Show us what you got. Everyone in town knew they were bullies. I didn't like bullies, but I was the new guy. When they challenged me, I didn't have much choice. Today, some might call it a fight, but it was really a wrestling match. Me against their leader, Jack Armstrong. Back then, the rule was, once you grabbed your opponent, you couldn't break your hold. But Jack did, so he could grab my leg and send me flying. Wham! I wasn't mad I lost. Everyone loses sometimes. What got me upset? He had cheated. You didn't play fair. Maybe you want to fight us all. Within seconds, they all surrounded me. They were waiting for me to back down or to lose my cool. Instead, calmly and confidently, I told them, If I have to, I will fight every single one of you fair and square. They knew I meant it. You're a strange kid, Abraham Lincoln, but you got guts. You know, I'm going to be on the penny. What's a penny? Sometimes the hardest fights don't reveal a winner, but they do reveal character, especially when you're fighting for something you believe in. Still, not every struggle brought a victory. Years later, I saw a group of slaves chained together on a boat on the Ohio River. Back then, not all people were free. Some were slaves. Just because of the color of their skin, they were forced to work without pay. They were treated terribly. I never forgot the sight of that boat. 
I didn't do anything that day, but for years, the memory of those people, it haunted me. I was still thinking about them when I became president. I lost four elections before I got the big job. Four! America was facing one of the greatest fights in our history, the Civil War. One side wanted to let the slaves go free. The other side, we want to keep slavery going and we'll fight anyone who says otherwise. If I had turned my head and looked away, I would have avoided the fight. But if I had learned anything in life, it was this. When someone needed help, I wasn't so good at looking away. I'm sorry, I cannot allow that. What'd you just say? You heard me. These people will be free. The Civil War lasted longer than anyone thought. The fighting took a terrible toll. People on our side were ready to give up. To re-energize them, we held a big event in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. The main speaker gave a speech that lasted nearly two hours. I gave a speech that lasted two minutes and used only 271 words. The most important five words I used, all men are created equal. Soon after, I helped pass a law that ended slavery in America and freed all those people. Then we ended the Civil War. As a result, we didn't just bring together these United States of America. We proved that this government of the people, by the people, and for the people would be dedicated to freedom and justice. You know, in his speech he told the crowd that no one would remember what he said at Gettysburg. Wanna bet? In life, strength can take many forms, but there's nothing quite as strong as standing up for someone who needs it. No matter where you're from or how little you have, one thing that can never be taken away from you is your voice. When you find something you believe in, use your voice. And when you see injustice, speak louder than you've ever spoken before. When you do, it'll never be forgotten. Look, he's on the penny. I am Abraham Lincoln, and I will never stop fighting for what's right. I hope you'll remember that when you speak your mind and speak for others, there's no more powerful way to be heard. I am not bound to win, but I am bound to be true. I am not bound to succeed, but I am bound to live by the light that I have. I must stand with anybody that stands right and stand with him while he is right and part with him when he goes wrong. Abraham Lincoln The End Okay, so to make your little log cabin, um, what you're going to need, um, I have markers. These are just to draw on um, extra stuff like trees and stuff at the end. Um, template, it's only really half of this. Templates online, or you can make your own. Um, the triangle is going to be for the roof, this is going to be a door, and this is a window. And I've already cut mine out, so here's my door, my roof, and window, however, I decide to put that on. So that's that. Um, you'll need a piece of construction paper or regular paper to put it on. Um, I chose blue so that we have blue sky in the background. And then we just need 12 sticks. Um, they're just regular sized, um, you can call them popsicle sticks, craft sticks. Um, you need paint or markers or crayons to color the sticks brown. Well, I shouldn't say brown. You can make it any color you'd want, but I'm gonna make mine brown. Um, and I decided to use uh, liquid watercolor just because I never use it and I think it would be neat to look more like stain than just regular paint. Um, but normally you could also use um, tempera paint or um, like I said, markers or crayons would color them just fine. Then you'll need glue. This is just school glue to glue everything to it. And I have a tray with wax paper on it. Oh, sorry. The last thing you need is penny with Lincoln's head on it so that he can go in the window and look out. Um, 
but I have the tray with wax paper on it just to keep it so it's not too messy. And all I'm going to do at first is dab that in there and um, paint my sticks, see how they turn out. Um, I'm going to paint all 12 and let them dry. Yeah, that turned a nice loggy color. But, you know, if you want Lincoln to have a nice red log cabin or purple or fuchsia, whatever you'd like, you do it. Um, so that, I'm just going to paint all those. And once they're dry, we'll come back and glue them to the paper. Okay, so now the sticks are dry, and we're going to go ahead and glue them on. Um, I'll put these aside for later. Uh, basically, all you got to do, I'm not sure if a glue stick would work with these or not. Um, I'm just going to use the Elmer's glue, um, school glue, whatever you want to call it. First thing you want to do is glue your um, house sticks down, your log cabin sticks down. So we want to do 10 of them just horizontally on the page. And um, you can see my sticks are colored on both sides. That's just because with the watercolor, the color kind of seeped under on the wax paper and um, colored both sides. So I have to decide which side I like better. But if you use just crayons or markers or regular paint, um, you probably don't have that same situation. But you're welcome to color on both, both sides. It doesn't matter. But so yeah, we're just gonna build this up and then we're gonna do the roof. Okay, so now we got 10 sticks there. Um, now we gotta put the two sticks up at the top. I think the best thing to do is put your roof triangle up there first. Now you don't have to use one of these. You can color it in or use sticks in it or just leave it open. Um, but I'm just gonna put that up there like that. And remember, if some glue pushes it out like it does, it will dry clear. I always have paper towels nearby because we all know that I make a mess, which is fine. Then what we need to do is put these along here. So it looks like it's a little too tall. So I'm just going to cut off the very bottom. And remember, if you glue on the scissors, scissors are washable. so it's going to be a little windy in the house, I guess. I can always lift up the top one. There we go. Then we'll just put these on the outsides. paper towel and this glue will dry clear. You'll be able to see it a little bit, but um, it's okay. So if you leave, we don't have to physically live in this because I don't think it's structurally sound, but hey. Alright, so we've got the window and the door left. door on either side, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put mine here. And window. I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to put Abe. 
So we want to back. Try to set him straight up and down. Ew, too much. <laughs> sticking pretty well. Might need a damp paper towel to get some of it off, but um, this is drying. It seems to be working just fine. My picture might be a little bit shinier than others. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and draw some grass or a tree or whatever you'd like. I think I'm just going to fill in some grass. Pine tree. Pine trees are pretty easy because you kind of just scribble. Oops, that might be too close to the foundation. paper it's going to be a little greener than <laughs> you might want from your son. That's okay. You can always use construction paper and cut this stuff out too. You get the idea. That's a fun. Okay, so that's about it. That's our Lincoln Log Cabin. Using a Lincoln Penny in there. And that's it. That's all for today. We'll see you next week on Rear Reading Virtual Storytime. Bye-bye.